Well, delighted to be joined by assistant trainer to Paul Nichols, uh, Harry Durham. Harry, well done, clan is over. That was fantastic there. He was, yeah. He was, um, he was very, very brave, wasn't he? Uh, Paul and Sam discussed it. They said, you know, we we'll ride him exactly as we did at Aintree. Just be really, really positive. He obviously likes being up near the front. And um, turn off the last bend, just be brave and send him on. And, you know, Sam rode a, rode a fantastic race. And um, I was getting a little bit nervous those last 50 yards. But he, he was really, really brave today. He really on song. He was quite idle though, going to the last fence. And uh, Sam had to cajole him along and get him over. And again, on a run, and he just looked to be doing the bare minimum. Yeah, that you know, that's probably him. And... You know, that's probably why he's got his cheek pieces on. Um, <laughs> I would just say that, obviously, gutted for Harry Cobden that he couldn't ride him today, and fair play to him. He he was the you know the man that sort of wanted the cheek pieces on him, and um, yeah, he was getting a little bit idle just going to the last. But um, I've only watched it once, but looking at it first time, they looked like they went a really honest gallop the whole way. So um, he probably just needed a bit of company. So um, yeah, it was probably hard watching for us those last hundred yards, but he did well to hold on. And uh, how big a choice was it to come here after entry? Yeah, well, straight after the race, Paul was like, oh, he'd run well in the Punchestown Gold Cup, wouldn't he? And, um, you know, right-handed track, a big galloping track like this, we always thought would suit him. Um, and he came out of entry very, very well, which was obviously important. Uh, you know, Clifford Baker, our head lad, and Paul and Scott, who looks after him, they were all very happy with him. So that made the decision easy. And um, he travelled over here fantastically, which obviously makes a big difference. And, uh, yeah, it was a big decision, but it's massively paid off. And a fantastic season at home for you, of course. Uh, 12th championship for Paul and uh, keep kicking and keep improving, I suppose. Yeah, amazing year. Uh, you know, I, numerically our best ever uh, tally, which was which was pretty special. Great, great end to the season on Saturday. But um, I must admit, to win this race is, you know, topped it all off. It's absolutely incredible. You know, this horse is a very, very good horse. And he's unfortunately just not shown his best at Cheltenham. But to, to win the Irish Gold Cup with him is really, really special. Great way to finish off the season, and uh, of course, after the Irish domination at Cheltenham and everything else, to come here win win like this. Paul has a great record, though, over the years here. He's won Munster Nationals, Galway Plates, yeah. Auto Star, etc. He'll keep coming back. Yeah, he, I mean, I'm probably quite impatient, but he always says to me, if you don't have the horse, you can't win the race. And, um, you know, Clan couldn't win the Gold Cup this year because he doesn't outrun Cheltenham, but this was, this was the right kind of race for him to go in. Um, and he's shown that he's a top-class horse. I'd also just say that for uh, Mr Barber, uh, Jed Mason, Sir Alex Ferguson, his owners, they're huge supporters of our yard. Um, and, and to win a huge race like this for them is, is very important because owners like that, you know, they, they put a massive amount in. Mr Barber's our landlord and Jed is our sponsor. And um, for people like that to win a huge race like this, I, I'm sure is very special and I'm, I'm absolutely delighted for them. I'm sure they got a big kick out of it. Listen, it's great to see you here today. Well done. Superb win. Thanks very much, Frank. Cheers, Harry.